I'm Abby. I'm the design engineer here at Freedom Vans. I'll be taking over the van tours for a bit while Kylie's on maternity leave. Um, today we'll be looking at a 144 Sprinter. Let's take a look around. This content is sponsored by Outdoorsy. Through Outdoorsy, you can rent your camper van out to make extra cash, and you can rent a van to try van life before you commit. So for this build, we have a lot of gear storage. They are focusing a lot on skiing, but also on the ability to carry bikes as well. So we came up with a side-by-side -side bike mount system that we'll be mounting the bike mounts later once we have their bikes in hand. Um, here you can see our custom ski rack where we have these awesome straps to keep skis in place. We wanted to make sure that they could fit their cross-country skis and their powder skis, so there's adjustable lengths that make it pretty easy to fit whatever skis you want. And then for any extra boards, this ground space right here is perfect for it, and it's all sealed and nice, so you can have snow piled in and not worry about your power system getting wet. One thing that's a little bit different about this build is we installed a Zero Breeze. So Zero Breeze is a portable air conditioning unit. We've found that the ACs for mobile vehicles are a little bit expensive and out of people's price range, so we're testing this guy out. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of ventilation going on, but What's really cool about it is it comes with battery packs that mount on the bottom so you can bring the batteries inside and charge them and not worry too much about draining your entire power system for cooling your van a bit. Another awesome feature is they have the typical water pump, outdoor shower, and they also have a washdown pump. So this pump is really nice when you have really dirty gear that just kind of needs that extra pressure to get that dirt off. So here you can turn it on, spray it around, turn it off. Um, another nice feature is they have an air compressor. So they will be able to fill up their tires whenever they want to like deflate to go driving on the beach or fill up bike tires with it. Underneath this gear tray is a 30 gallon water tank. This is plenty of water to last them on a long weekend. Um, if you are conservative with it, you could probably make it a week. They also have a hot water tank. This is a four gallon uh, mini tank water heater. It's electric. We always go with electric water heaters because we find that heating them up while driving is a really just great use of your power and there's no need to carry any extra fuel just to heat your water. Um, the tanks that we use stay hot for 24 hours so you, whenever you want to plan for a shower just when you're driving onto your destination you flip the tank on and it will heat and then you'll have hot water for a shower to do dishes and all that good stuff. On this side of the garage, we have our power system. It was a pretty fun game of Tetris to fit this all in so that they could fit bikes and all the gear that they want to carry. So in this power system, we have four 100 amp hour batteries. Uh, we have a solar charge controller. We have another charge controller so they can charge from shore power. There's also a 2000 watt inverter with the outlets accessible from the back here. So whenever you need to plug anything in from your garage space, that is there for you to use. So let's talk about the exterior now that we've gone on from the garage. So over here we have an aluminous ladder, which is awesome to get onto the roof. It's rear door mounted, which is super nice. And whenever you want to just open it up, you don't need to worry about swinging any arms out. So it's super handy. We fabbed up a step in the shop, so you can still use the hitch that's mounted below it, but it makes a nice little additional step to get up onto this ladder. Another fun feature is Tom fabbed this pull-up bar. The client really wanted an extra place to get his workout in, so we have this nice pull-up bar that's located underneath this boat roller. On top of this van, we have a custom welded roof rack that holds a 395 watt solar panel. We also have reverse lights, side lights, and a front light bar. And we also have a Max Air fan. Also on top of this van, we have a Fiamma awning. So let's take a look at the interior of this van. So in this van, the client really wanted a modular setup. They were worried about having this area be a little too cramped, which I think it's actually pretty spacious. But this entire cabinet is removable. 
Since this cabinet is freestanding, we ended up welding out an interior frame that is bolted down to L-Track, but there's some pretty nice shelving for additional storage if you ever find that you should want. So over here we have a nice compact kitchen galley. It has a flip up tabletop here so that when you want to have that full L kitchen, you have that capability. So this just flips back down and locks in place like this. And then you can stand over and do your dishes whenever you're done. So underneath this sink cover, we have a nice ceramic blend sink. We wanted to go with a farmhouse style sink for this build to kind of go with this look. Um, I think that the white sink looks really nice with this subway tile backsplash, which was client picked up. Over here we have a two burner propane cooktop with another flush mount cover. So this cooktop is super nice if you want to cook on open flame. Um, we only install one pound propane canisters that hook up and we find that they typically will last you about a week of cooking. So this is a great option if you don't want to go the induction route and up your power system. So down here we have a Vitrofrigo marine refrigerator. I think this size is awesome for this space. I Plenty of storage and it fits in their kitchen cabinet. For overhead storage in this van, we have a nice headliner cabinet. I really like headliner cabinets. They give you a lot of extra space that you wouldn't have. And if we look over at the driver's side, it's not like you're really missing that headroom anyway. You can still access the storage above the visors. You can keep things while driving. And I just find that they're really nice. They also make a great place to mount a track for a privacy curtain which also is removable. One thing that Tom does not like when driving in a van with a privacy curtain is having it whip behind you in the wind. So having it removable is very important so that when you're driving, you feel safe and not distracted by the noise. So for the rest of the overheads, we have two overhead cabinets over the galley with under cabinet lights. We find that doing under cabinet lights over the galley makes such a difference when you're cooking just to have that lighting right on top of you. We love our puck lighting that's on the ceiling, but having that extra bit of lighting makes such a difference. We also have a cabinet over the bed over here, and we find that just having a cabinet over the bed is great additional storage that you can store clothing and things, where this is more for other galley needs that you may want. Underneath this overhead cabinet, we have outlets for our air conditioning unit that I showed you before. It's really important when you install an AC system to have the outlet somewhere above so that it can push the hot air down. So we put this with these directional little vents so that you can point the cool air blowing towards you while you're cooking in the kitchen or point the cool air towards you while you're sleeping in bed. We also have a max air fan. We like to put this over the bed so that you have control over it while you're sleeping. If you get too hot, you can turn it up. If you don't really feel like you need it, you can close it. You can just Adjust it in the middle of the night when you're probably most prone to having temperature changes. In front of the galley towards the floor, we have a underbody fan outlet. We really like installing underbody fans because we find that the air below your van is usually 10 degrees cooler than the air outside of your van. So on hot days, having that extra cool air really makes a difference. It's really nice too because you can cover the filter with a wet t-shirt when it's smoky or create a swamp cooler to make your van even cooler. We also have in the passenger seat base a Wabasto diesel heater. Over here we have a two-person dinette. We love the Lagoon table mount because it's removable and very modular, which when you're in a small space makes all the difference. This Lagoon table will drop down and these cushions will come up so that this bed turns from a side-to-side -side sleeper into a front-to-back sleeper. When you want that extra length and you're not really sure how to make the most of your space, having that modular extension really makes a difference. So this dinette we raised up a little bit so that there is plenty of space for a nature's head composting toilet. We keep this in this cabinet here and you can pull it out, use it. It's all attached to the fan in the back so it's just really simple to use. We reinforce this door with a flip up step. This is really nice for stepping into bed and being able to get out of bed in the middle of the night and not have to try to search for another space that's below where your bed is. Also underneath this dinette, we have this raised storage. That's just an extra bonus spot to keep random things that 
more storage is always nice. Thanks for joining us today for this van tour. If you like this layout, it will be available on our website. So make sure that you check it out so that you can get an update when it's ready. It will include dimensions and product lists so that you can make your own custom build. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you hadn't noticed, we do sell an ebook for how to convert a van. It has over 190 pages of detailed instructions and diagrams, also 25 video tutorials which are specifically for the ebook buyer. Creating a van for many people is obviously a really intimidating project, but I really believe, and I've seen it time and time and time again, that with the right information, anyone can turn out with a pretty decent van conversion. So check the link in the description, subscribe to the channel if you are not already, uh, and drop us a comment if you like this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.